What's going on everybody? This is Nikin07 with another video for you guys. And it's a quick video on an application I picked up a while back called Connect360. And uh, Connect360 is an application that uh, you have to connect your Mac or uh, your MacBook Pro or your MacBook uh, to your 360 so you can watch videos, listen to music, and also uh, watch your photos on any TV. So uh, let's get to it really quick. And uh, I already have it installed on my computer. So uh, it's it, the basis for it is in system preferences. So that's where we're going to go first. So we're going to go to the Apple menu. We're going to click on system preferences. And system preferences is going to pop up right here. And then it's going to be at the very bottom in the others uh, column right here or row. Uh, so right here it says connect 360. So I click on it right here. It's going to take you. To connect 360. So this is a uh, it right here. I don't have it on right now, uh, but we'll show uh, we'll show you what it is. So uh, right here, it's pretty simple. On the status page, you have the start button to start sharing your files with your 360. You have a settings button. These two buttons follow you through these uh, two other menus. Uh, then you have your your registration button. And we're not going to go to that one because there's still some information that belongs to me, so you guys can't see it. But you'll see it if you download it. And also the about button. The about button just lets you know uh, that what the uh, software is, Connect360, the version, and your cost of copyright stuff. Also, you have on here, you have check for updates, visit us online, and then your license agreement right here. So back to the status page, right here in uh, Active Services, if you turn it on, I'm gonna turn it on really quick. It's gonna say start right here, starting up. So you see here, you got iTunes, it's loading right here, iPhoto, and Movies. Uh, with iTunes, you can play any unprotected music that you have, and I'll show up on your 360. If you have protected music, it's not going to show up on your 360. Any photos and also any videos you also designate that you have. So um, let's go look inside the settings really quick. So I'm going to click settings here. And it's a drop down menu right here. It's a pretty simple setup menu. Uh, right here it says uh, different options. I have automatic check for updates. Show it in menu bar, which is right up here, as you guys can probably see it. And then also play a sound whenever your connect 360 is connected or it's discovered. And that's down here on the bottom. And your iTunes uh, tab right here, you just have enable it. And you have your transcode, your audio transcode. It's at a high quality. I have mine. And you can have it re rescan your library uh, from five minutes to up to two hours. Uh, so it's totally up to you guys. And you have some other options down here you can check out. And your iPhoto, you also have enable and you have your uh, transcode quality so it's from the highest to the lowest setting that it has right here and under the movies, the, this is the one I use it more for uh, you have it for you can enable it and then right here in this tab you can choose what volume you want to take from so if you want from your own hard drive or like I have it right here in external and you also have your rescan uh, you can set from 5 minutes like I said to 2 hours I have it set for every 5 minutes because it's easier that way for me so it always keeps refreshing and then access, the last one, it just enables you to limit the number of hosts you can use this uh, while this thing is running on this computer. So let's uh, really quick go take a look at the website. So let's close this out right here. We're going to go to the About tab and then we're going to go visit us online. So like I said, um, 360, I, sorry, Connect360 helps you connect your iMac or any Apple computer device to your, uh, three, your Xbox 360. Uh, it's made it, the product is by No River, um, and they make different other products right here on their homepage at www.noriver.com. Uh, they have this one called Media Link. This is for you guys who have a PS3 out there, so you can do that. And then uh, we're looking for Connect 360, so we're going to go to the Products tab right here, and we're going to go Connect 360 right here on the left hand side, and it's going to bring up this little page. So right here, Connect 360. Tells you a little bit about the stuff, different things, introducing it uh, through iTunes. It also works for uh, video streaming, the high def video streaming, so people have high def videos. And it works over wired or wireless network. As you can probably see from my menu, I ran off my wireless network, my airport, so and it works fine. There's sometimes a little bit of lag time, but it just depends how big the video file is. And um, Connect360 is not, it's not freeware, it's a product you do have to buy. It is $20 to buy it. But I consider it a good buy since uh, what it does, so you can watch any movie you have, and it's a, and right here you also have on the right hand side it tells you all the formats support. It supports quite a bit of formats, 
I've never had a problem not being able to watch a video on my Xbox 360 uh, using this program. Uh, system requirements also right here on the side. Uh, you have, of course, your 360 on a network connection. Your iTunes showed for sharing. Your iPhoto also for, showed for sharing. And you have to you have to have Mac OS 10. Uh, point four or later. So, all right. So this has been a quick look at uh, Connect 360. Uh, comment if you guys have any questions. Also leave a comment down there or send me a, a uh, private message. And subscribe if you guys want to. And I'll see you guys later. All right. Bye.